This video is brought to you by ClipChamp. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to use your webcam to create videos using the ClipChamp editor. It's gonna be really, really simple. It's gonna save you a lot of time when it comes to using like an external camera. You can go ahead and actually connect your webcam into your computer and then you can also just capture that straight away in ClipChamp and then when you're done recording, you can also edit that into the ClipChamp editor in browser. It's gonna be really simple. So if you guys are excited about how to use this webcam recorder feature, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's get started right after the intro. All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are on ClipChamp. So you will also see this page when you click on the first link down in the description. So in order to record a webcam footage, we basically need to create a new template first. So if we have this landing page right here, we're gonna also click on login at the top as you can see, because it's really simple. You can also create an account for free if you don't have one yet. It is just totally free and it just takes you a minute to sign up. So then if you click on login, we just need to fill in our information. Okay, so then we land on this page where you can see all your previous projects but we're gonna click on the create a video at the top left and then we're gonna pick our resolution as always this is gonna be widescreen for a youtube video instagram post a social media post like a cinematic one for example like a movie or like a portrait for example an instagram story but we're gonna pick the widescreen for now so then we land on the standard editor you guys are all familiar with this one of course so then we will click on this record webcam button so then what you guys see is basically this you can see your webcam you can see your entire layout so we also have an options button on the left bottom and if we click on that we can choose our webcam what kind of capture device we want to use i'm going to use the c920 for now but we can also have this logitech capture do it if we want to but i think this one is actually the best for this video so now what you want to do is you want to click on that red record button at the bottom so we're going to click on there so now that our video is officially recording you can now basically uh, record anything you like you can also position your webcam on different places if the cable's long enough for example, like a Q and A or anything like that. So now that we have recorded a video for about 15 seconds, we're gonna click on stop right here. All right, so this is basically the webcam footage that we just shot. So if you're happy with it, of course, you can always click on add the project. But if you wanna retake something, you can just also click on retake recording. But I think this, for example, this one is doing its job quite well. So we're gonna click on add the project. Now, as you can see, it's converting your assets for use. This might take a while, depending on how long the video is, etc. But then when it's finished you know processing you can also drag this one onto your timeline but as you can see right now we record it in uh, square resolution but since we have a widescreen project so we're gonna hit transform so what we can do is we can click on crop the fill so it's gonna fill the entire screen and obviously we can also add in our filters or color grading presets for example a black and white one indoors we have scenery portrait outdoors increased unfiltered just regular we have muted kind of faded we have uh, filmic, we have blur, radial, we have ourselves in multiple times, we have a glitch one, we also have like blurred glass, vaporwave smoke, anything that you like is in this menu right here so let's go ahead and pick one that would actually fit this video i think the indoors filter looks pretty cool so now we're going to click on there but now you can go to color balance and we can also mess with the exposure with the saturation and everything like that so it all depends on what you like i'm going to make this a little bit more blue that looks great and i'm going to also bring up the exposure just a little bit and the saturation a little bit down and the contrasts a little bit up. So that looks really, really great. So let's just go ahead and move up to the timeline where we can actually cut it. Okay, so now that we are in the timeline, we can go ahead and cut it right here. So in order to cut in your timeline, you want to basically press S just like in Vegas to split your footage like that. And you want to press, for example, right here on the timeline, press S again, and then you can delete that part. And now we have created a nice jump cut. So now it's very important that you can also add in, for example, text on your video do you want to have like this headliner like some text appearing on the screen everything with like a border uh, you can also add in certain overlays for example like you know these like small intros and everything so let's go ahead and drag that onto this video so let's play it back and let's see what it looks like right now 
that's a really, really cool transition. So let's say that you have your camera in multiple positions. You can just create a cut right here. And then you can actually, you know, cut to the next scene and we can have this kind of transition. As you can see, that looks really, really cool. And we have multiple kinds of transitions, of course, that we can drag onto the timeline. And you can also just you know, use different backgrounds if you're sitting in front of a green screen and everything. So it's really, really simple, guys, to record your video with your webcam in ClipChamp, how to edit it, how to add transitions, how to cut it. You can also drag on background music into your timeline and really, really create an amazing video. So it's really that simple. And make sure to check out the first link down in the description to get started using ClipChamp. So guys, that is for this video. Now you guys know how to use your webcam as your camera and how to record videos in browser and to just also edit that footage. So I wanna thank ClipChamp for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a like down below. And I'll see you guys obviously in my next video.